Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barnone 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. And uh, first thing I want to start out with is to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Um, I hope people see this for the day that it is, um, a day built for love and being around the people that you care about. So even if you are not in any kind of relationship, I hope you spend time with uh, friends or family. Uh, if your loved ones are far away, uh, if you give them a call and show them that you're thinking about them, sometimes a simple phone call letting them know you're thinking about them can mean the world for somebody. So hopefully people out there will do that and use this day for what it really is. Don't think of it as the commercial holiday where you have to buy tons of chocolate and tons of gifts to prove your love. Sometimes just being there is good enough. With that being said, I wanted to give an update on um, what's going on with the stray cat that we found that is going to no longer be a stray. Uh, we're going to be keeping uh, the cat. So the first thing I wanted to give the good news, uh, first off, it's a girl. Um, she is between seven and eight years old. So one of my subscribers that said that uh, the cat looks kind of old, uh, they were right. Uh, the cat's middle-aged at this point, seven or eight years old. Um, I thought it was two because it's so scrawny, but they say, you know, outdoor cats like that, you know, trying to find food, these things are going to happen. They're not going to be as built because, you know, they're just scrounging for whatever they can eat. Uh, the good news is she doesn't have any feline aids. Um, she doesn't have um, any parasites. They said, you know, thank goodness we found her in the winter because she might have been covered with fleas. Um, she's never been, um, I guess it's called spaded. I'm not sure if it's spaded or neutered, but she's never been spayed. So even if she had an owner, uh, they didn't take care of her the proper way. So um, it's good that we got her now because in the springtime, she'd probably be feral, well, fertile and probably have more kittens running around needing a home. So they said, considering this is an outdoor cat and it's been in the wild for who knows how many years, they said that it's, in surprisingly in decent condition for its age. They said it's a little malnourished. They're doing some blood work, uh, but they said that she should be fine. Uh, the biggest problem was what I thought the other day is in her mouth. Um, she's already lost a couple of teeth, but they said there's going to be needing some really serious dental work, so we're going to have to take care of that. Um, there's some infection, so we made an appointment um, to get in as soon as we could, which is not until um, Friday. That's the first thing they have available. They said it's not life-threatening or anything, but it also explains why she didn't eat any of the solid food. They said basically because of the amount of teeth that she's already lost with living out in the wild and the fact that she may lose another one or two, depending on what they can do, um, they said that probably she, for the rest of her life she's not going to be able to eat anything more than the, the canned kind of soft kind of food. So um, that explains why she didn't even touch the hard food. It wasn't that she wasn't hungry, just that her mouth wouldn't allow her to do it. Um, the people at the vets said that they absolutely adored her. She's like, like I was saying, how it's the most friendliest cat that I've ever seen in my life. So they thought the same thing. And the cat nonstop wanted to be pet. They couldn't believe that it was a feral cat. And uh, we're slowly introducing um, this cat to our other cats um, if you guys already know, I mean, I already have two other strays that we took in. Uh, the first one, uh, if you've been watching me for a while, know that um, my first cat is called Shy. Uh, we found him on, um, what was it, Father's Day. No, I'm sorry, Mother's Day of 2010. And he was in my basement. Uh, mother just left him there in a box to die. And then we have Oregon, which we found on Father's Day. In my father's car. Now, my father, those of you who've been watching for a while, my father died in a fire. And um, the next year, on Father's Day, we find a kitten that was hiding in his car. And now we have this next cat that I looked outside for the mail, and we got a different kind of special delivery. So, like I said, I, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to give this cat up. I mean, it was just, it was almost love at first sight, and it just seemed so desperate to be saved. It's just amazing. So um, I also I wanted to thank all the people that did help. And I want to show you I'm going to show you just two of the invoices so you could see that, you know, we're not trying to take advantage of people and everything. This right here is just today's visit alone. I'm going to show you right there. 
and that's not including the blood work and what comes of the blood work because they have to do the blood tests and they're waiting for the results back to see what comes up with that. So that is the blood work and that is, well, not, not including the blood work, but that is just for today's exam with the medication and everything else. And this is for the dental work. So I thought I'd show that. So this is definitely something that we were not expecting. So, um, you know, we're not trying to pocket people's money. We're not trying to go on some vacation. Um, this is just to help us be able to give this cat a life that it didn't have. Um, it must have been owned at some point, and maybe they realized it was just too expensive and couldn't help it with its mouth problem. Instead, they took the coward way out and just let it out on its own. And um, I'm going to make sure, and my wife is going to make sure, that that cat never has to deal with that again. So um, for the people who are able to even help with a dollar or something, I mean, that's going to help. So it's all going towards those particular bills. And then we find out, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood, hopefully the uh, blood results will come back where she's fine and we won't have to worry about anything else. But, um, yeah, so I want to show that so you guys can see that, you know, a few bad apples try to, try to spoil the tree. But I'm one of those people, when you tell the truth, you have nothing to hide. So I wanted to show that so people, even if you weren't sure, now you're sure. So we're keeping this cat. We're going to take care of her. We're going to make sure she has a loving home for the remainder of her, remainder of her life. Um, it's going to take a little getting used to with the other cats. So what we're doing is we're keeping her downstairs in the basement for the time being. We have a nice pillow. We put food and water. We have a, a um, heater right there. So this way, even if it gets cold, we don't have to worry. She's going to be nice and warm. Um, we have a litter box, everything. She's happy down there. And then what we're going to do is we already tried it once, and we're going to do it again later tonight. Um, we're going to put her in the cat cr crate thing, bring her inside so the cats can get used to each other. The funny part is I thought it was going to be Orgon and Shy that were going to hiss at her, but they actually took a submissive role when we brought her in, and it was actually the female cat that was hissing at them. I guess that makes sense because, you know, being out in the wild – you basically, any other cat's probably trying to steal your food or the place that you're sleeping. So I guess she's going to have to get used to that. But I guess that's one of those good problems. So, uh, again, all the people that did help, I mean, you know, some people were saying, you know, I can only put so much and apologize. Please don't because anything is appreciated. And even the people who couldn't and they shared it on their social networks, and that helps as well. So please don't ever apologize because I've been – in times where things are really rough and it's not always easy. But it also, what this really makes me feel about is how much love is really out there and how if you continually try and help people, sometimes that love returns to you. So maybe this is a lesson to show that there are people who do care. And if you don't give up on people when everybody else does because it's just the easier way to go, you never know when it's your time and need people that will actually come through. And sometimes they could be total strangers. So again, from the bottom of my heart, uh, Cuddles and myself and my wife want to thank you guys for helping us through, you know, what could have been an extremely difficult thing. Um, I don't go into all the personal details of what's going on in my life, but there were reasons why I haven't been making um, a lot of videos in the past couple of weeks. But I'm not going to get into that stuff because that's not what this channel is about. I kind of keep that stuff private. So when this kind of hit, I mean, it's a good problem because we're helping to save a life. But, you know, it's just something we weren't expecting. So with that being said, again, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody out there. Um, I will keep you guys um, posted. And when she gets acclimated, I will do a video showing her in a little bit better light because obviously you can see there's a lot more light here than down in the basement. And um, you could see how she's doing. I'll keep the progress up. So three strays. Hopefully that's it because uh, – my house seems to be the cat motel. Like all the strays just happen to come here, but I guess maybe that's why. So they know our hearts are going to just let them in. So hopefully that's it because, uh, you know, my heart can only <laughs> handle so much. So it's been a little stressful, but this is the kind of good stress. It's knowing that basically you're helping to save a life and doing well and with the kindness of strangers help make this a lot better. So thank you very much, guys. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Give my love to everybody out there and just call people, even if you haven't talked to them in a while. Show them you care. Let's bring some good back. Peace.